There are rich teams, and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap, and then there's us. We got to think differently. In 1998, many American League teams' payrolls were soaring. As seen in Moneyball, new Oakland A's GM Billy Bean didn't have that luxury. He was forced to get creative. This better work. I'm just kidding you. You back him into a corner, he'll find a way out. And he was backed into a corner with his payroll, and he was just looking for a way to win. How are these guys going to survive when they have X amount of money and their competitors have 10 times that amount of money. What these guys decided was, we gotta look for new knowledge, we gotta question everything. They found great inefficiencies in the way they were valuing players. Bean had to find undervalued players. He looked beyond traditional metrics, like batting average and RBIs, and instead relied on often overlooked statistics, like on-base percentage and slugging percentage, numbers that were actually better indicators of a player's ability to create runs. We were really trying to rob some of the things that were going on in Wall Street and trying to apply them because, you know, finding value is ultimately what you're they were trying to do on Wall Street and we were trying to do in baseball. They found that defense was overvalued and Offense was undervalued, and guys that got on base in unspectacular ways, they could buy for a fraction of the cost. He drafted different than everybody else, got rid of good guys before they made big paydays. He was kind of that pioneer. And if someone was coming along and trying to, out of necessity, innovate in this place, uh, I thought, well, that's a great story. Uh, because if you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. Despite consistently having one of the lower payrolls in the league, the A's would go on to win four division titles. And the Moneyball phenomenon was on its way to transforming not only baseball, but the world beyond.